I'm in a rather lucky position right now where I have two Concept2 rowing machines. Basically, I am donating this one to my local high school where my kids are going uh, to try and see if it will help generate a new rowing star for Scotland. Who knows if it's the least I could do. Uh, yeah, so anyway, so I have two rowing machines. This one has done run about 15 million meters. This one has done run about 50,000 meters, okay? So the difference between them is quite huge in terms of use. Now this one, I have changed the chain, I've changed the bungee and things, whereas this one's pretty much new out the box. Now, the only real difference in terms of using them when I'm rowing is the feeling of how tight the bungee is, okay? So on the new one, it feels quite tight. On this one, it feels quite loose. Now, I've done a test using a hand grip thing. So first up, the old grey machine. Now, just to pick up the tension of the handle, it takes 1.4-ish kilograms to get the handle moving. But then as I pull on the handle towards the back of the machine and hold it at a stretch position, I need to put in right about 2.2 kilograms worth of force. To pick up the tension on the new machine, it starts around 2.3 and settles at 1.8 kilograms of force. And as I then pull the handle on this one towards the back of the machine and hold it at a stretch position, it takes 5.1 kilograms of force. A clear difference. So, in a completely unscientific test, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to row 100 metres on each of them and see if there's any difference. Now, this is just a little bit fun, because to be honest, 100 metres isn't going to tell anything. But it'll be interesting just to, see, just to see what happens, what the sensation's like for me, and all that kind of stuff. And to add, to add to this, I've just done the CTC, the February 2022 CTC, which was three one miles or three minutes rest in between. So I'm rather tired. But the way I figure it is it's the same as how you make steel. You remove all of the carbon from uh, the iron and then you put a little bit back in in order to make steel and it's kind of what I'm doing here whereas I've, I've absolutely exhausted myself so that basically I do 100 meters on one machine and I'm going to be just as exhausted and then when I do the other one I'm going to be just as exhausted anyway so I should have the same no energy to put into the 100. You get what I'm saying don't you? Yeah cool. Like I say this is just a bit of fun it's not a scientific test. So first things to check is the drag factor okay so i'm going to set drag factor the same on both so menu to turn it on more options display drag factor okay now i'm aiming for run about 130 i've just done a row and i had it 130 so hopefully it's not changed okay there we go 130 there we go so the new machine is at 130 drag factor the foot stretchers have three holes showing uh, and that's really all you can particularly do. So I'm going to go to select workout, new workout, single distance, and then because you can't set it to zero, so I have to go the other way. I have to do the 100 first, take out the two, 100 meters. Okay, so, so let's see how this goes. I'm going to try and get the rate up to kind of the 40s or whatever. Please don't laugh too much at my technique. 100 meter sprints, I'm all over the place. So are you ready for this? Here you go. In three, Two, one, go. Seventeen point six. You know what? Quite happy with that. <laughs> it's the first 100 meter sprint I've done in a while. And off the back of doing the CTC, I'll take 17.6. Okay, so next you'll see me, I'll be sitting on this machine. Okay, so here I am on Old Faithful. This is the machine that I've been rowing on for pretty much the past nine years. But like I say, the option came up to donate this to my kids' high school and I thought, why not, hey? Yeah. Anyway, so it's been about two minutes since I did the last sprint. So let's check the drag factor on this one. More options, display drag factor. The foot plate's up at three holes showing again. Let's do a couple of strokes. Yeah, it definitely feels looser in terms of bungee. I'm a bit high. Right, that's 130 already. Right then, so let's put in our workout. Select workout, new workout, single distance, uh, add in 100, take out 2000, tick. Let's go up to the top one. Don't wanna see my force curve for this. Well, this is pretty much gonna be the last row I do on this machine, apart from 
when I fix the roller and I do a little test, this is going to be the last time I pretty much go for it on this machine. So let's hope that we beat the 17.6 from the other machine. Okay then, I'm going to go for that race start again, try and keep it even, and then just try and keep the rate up. Here we go then. Three, two, one. Well, my massively scientific <laughs> test here shows it's exactly the same. So there you go, so you don't need to know anything else. <laughs> I'm really surprised by that. <laughs> you know, there's no point me saying anything more. If you enjoyed this video, please check out the roll on workouts and stuff I have on my channel. Uh, yeah, and I hope you enjoyed this one. And hey, leave your comment. Uh, don't please don't give, give me abuse for the non-scientific aspect of this. It was just a bit of fun. Um, but let me know how fast you can row 100 meters. I'm quite pleased with 17.6. Anyway, look after yourself. Stay safe, be well. Bye bye.